What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. Now, a couple things. One, I'm excited for Ultra Majin Vegeta. I like I like Majin Vegeta. I think everybody likes Majin Vegeta too. So, like, if you're a real Dragon Ball fan, you probably like Majin Vegeta. They've given us like next to no CC. Why is there already another Majin Vegeta? Or why is there another Ultra? Not Majin Vegeta. Why do we already have another one? It's only been four years. No, why is there another Ultra already? Like, I know Turles was like a month ago, and Gotenks was like two weeks ago. Legends, you can't just be dead for weeks on end, give no Chrono Crystals, and then be like, here's an Ultra for you. No! But we got Ultra Majin Vegeta, so here we are. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Bravo, Deborah. Well done. Majin Buu is as good as Awakened. Master, I don't like that. <laughs> Master, get out of here. I don't need to listen to it, I've already watched it a couple times. I mean, it's cool. Again, I love Majin Vegeta, I genuinely do. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why we need another Ultra, I hate Ultras. I don't, I like Ultra, kind of. They're not that cool. They're not that cool, sorry. Sorry, I said it. LFs are cooler, because you get a legendary finish if I do the game right. Ultras, I just get a cool animation when they come into the battle. That's it. I said it, they stink. They don't stink. They kind of stink. So, I saw people, like, hyping this up in the comments. To me. Now, hey, listen. I'm a professional hater. Okay? That was one of the most boring Ultra trailers I've ever watched in my existence. <laughs> it didn't show a final atonement. It didn't show him, like, knocking trunks out so it doesn't hurt him. All it showed was, I'm your bitch, Bobbity. I love you. And then he was like, actually, I did it just to talk to Kakarot. Yeah. All right, yeah. That's, a, that's cool. <laughs> you got it, man. Now, I'm going to skim through this because I have quite literally already read these. I already made this video. And to be frank, I recorded it. And then I was like that was a terrible video i'm gonna redo that so i don't like this whole yellow the yellow text basically they're summarizing it but in like their bandai speak where they sound like they're like 95 years old so we're not we're not gonna read through that except for points where like i just kind of want to full-on summarize uh for the most part he feels very heavily reliant on his gauge and that's not a bad thing a lot of units nowadays are his gauge charges 50% when he comes into battle. He, he has endurance. His gauge charges when he swaps in. There's a whole lot of positives to him. I don't know why he's not Vegeta Clan buffing, though. I don't know who said, hey, why don't we do it? So he's just Majin Buu Saga. So you have plus, so it is maximum, maximum. Let's say you got him 14 stars. Ultimate Awakened Damage, Episode Majin Buu Saga. 42% episode Majin Buu Saga and Saiyan. Majin Vegeta is quite literally alongside Rage Vegeta. Like the one that hits you know, my Bulma of Vegeta. He's quite literally the Vegeta that is making an atonement for hurting so many people and saying he loves his family. And similar to the one that's with Kaba in Super. And they're like, you know what? We're going to keep pushing this team. Stop pushing the sagas. You have the leader skill. If I really want to run Evil Boo with my Majin Vegeta, I can do it. With that said, the Majin Buu Saga team is pretty solid. They've released enough units at this point that it is it, it does stand on its own legs perfectly fine. Super Vegito, uh, Ultimate Gohan, Evil Boo, Shin, there's totally enough to validate that team. Stop doing it! I don't want Saga teams. <laughs> Stop doing it! It feels like they're like, yeah, we're making it better so you can use more units together. You already invented the leader skill. Leave it. You've already invented the leader skill. Stop. If I want to run King Cold on my Majin Buu Saga team, I can already do it. Stop. They're not going to stop. It doesn't matter. <laughs> He's yellow, which... It'll, yellow only bums me out because I love Ultra UI. So it does bum me out when I get a yellow unit 
because it just makes it tough to run it with him. You can. It's totally doable. Totally viable. They're what? Reach a red, so you need a solid blue. You can figure it out, but it's... It, it always kind of just... I, I just don't like it. That's just a me thing. That's not an overall. If this character is the leader, applies the following effects to self. 30% damage inflicted, 30% to key recovery. If it's not the leader, 5% damage inflicted per Majin Buu. That's awesome. 100% to inflict heavy bleed on hit. Blast armor charging forward. Blast armor's... Chef's kiss. I love that. I love when the unit gets... I hate... I hate not having blast armor. I hate it. Um, inflict strike arts cost up. 30 to strike arts cost from a blast card. That's pretty solid, too, to be honest with you. Following effects occur upon activation. 30% special move damage inflicted for three counts. Following effects occur. Unique gauge is full. Again, everything kind of revolves around the unique gauge being full. Maja Vegeta without a gauge. Don't use him. <laughs> Honestly, if he doesn't have his gauge, don't use him. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Plus, if like self, upon activation, randomly draws at most two new cards when having three or fewer. Restores key by 50. It's great on a green card. 20% damage inflicted for 10 counts. Applies the following effects to self on hit. Enemy nullifies enemy special actions that activate and change cover. I mean, it always says nullifies enemy special actions and changing cover. L tons of units say that. I'll have to see it in battle because you can tell me that. And then Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta will nullify my nullification of nullifying his nullification. I, I'll, I'm not going to take your word on it, Bandai, that he's actually going to nullify and cover change. That's not going to sell me on the unit, but we'll assume he does for the time being. Plus, it does combo. Uh, I Green cards are, to me, one of the most important cards in the entire game. Like it, it might be the most important one. So this knocks them back. It chains. You get key. You get damage. And you get type neutral. That's pretty nutty, to be honest with you. That's that's a hell of a green card. So that that'll that'll play well in his factors. And listen, you're gonna be excited. You can run him with Deborah. <laughs> Inflicts no switching on activation, so you'll be able to inflict huge damage on an enemy with of your choice. Plus half of the damage inflicted will be dealt to enemy members on standby. That's actually really good too. I hate that ability whenever I fight like even Purple Cell, who's okay, he's fine. When he blows up and Almost takes out my bench. It's like, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Have them inflict also dealt enemy on standby. Nullifies blast arts. Oh, nullifies blast arts and charging forward. So it's not even you say damage. You just nullify them. They just don't even exist. It's like whenever you use a rush. And you rush at them. Those blast cards don't affect you if they're using a blast card. Oh, well, it's card. Big blast cannon. I don't... I didn't know that was the name. <laughs> Restores on health by 30% and key by 50. Charges your unique gauge by 50%. 30% damage inflicted against Tag Saiyan. Seals enemy rising rush. That's pretty good. 25 timer counts must elapse. Uh, unique gauges fill 200%. 200% damage inflicted at the start of the battle. 70% reduced. Minus 10 to both your arts cards and an art, arts card draw speed on top of the damage. That, that's nuts. That's wild. That's wild. So, to me, he feels like a big blast cannon. Now, he feels like a big cannon that just comes out and just does stupid damage using his gauge. Dies to a rush, and then that's your match. That's kind of what, but that's kind of what Majin Vegeta does, right? I mean, he comes out, does a whole bunch of damage, blows himself up, and then he comes back and helps Goku win by fusing with him, right? Win, but you know, whatever. Kid boo. <laughs> Falling Fist Curve reaches zero, so again... You start talking about a unit that already looks this solid on paper, doing that kind of damage, having that kind of gauge, that kind of green card, main ability. All this stuff looks fantastic. And then he also has endurance. So I'm pretty confident when I say he will definitely be very good. I mean, it's Majin Vegeta. And I don't know if they've released an Ultra that's bad. Like, to date. Obviously, some of them age and aren't as good later on. But right when they come out, for the most part, Ultras hit pretty spot. Turles, for example. I know, a lot of you guys claim to be the biggest Turles fans that have ever existed. You weren't even alive when the movie came out, but I get it. I, I wasn't either, so it's fine. <laughs> I might have been one. I don't know. But Turles even coming out as an Ultra, was he's so good. So the fact that Turles was, I imagine Majin Vegeta will also be busted. As I stated at the beginning of this, it just kind of pisses me off with Bandai, or Dimps, or Legends, however you want to look at it. Give us Chrono Crystals, man! What are you doing? I don't have any CC, I only have 7,000! 
I didn't even spend that much on Gotenks. Now, ar arguably, if I didn't summon it at all on Gotenks and I went straight from Turles to this one, I might have around 15k, 16k. But, I mean, if you want to try to get all the units, whatever. I don't know what's been happening with CC. The game is, number one, incredibly dead. Nothing's happening. And number two, they're literally giving less amounts. Like, there's, there's literally posts like, you can follow on Twitter that show how much they give. They gave, like, 10,000 or something in, like, uh, September. That's, no. That's a no-no. 10,000 Chrono Crystals for an entire month? When you're going to give us an Ultra almost back-to-back? Bandai, come on. Anyways, I'm out of here. Thanks so much. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Follow 59 Gaming at 59 Gaming on Twitter or follow me personally, Radical YT and Radical YT. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you for watching. I will probably be live today at some point playing Sparking Zero. I kind of want to set up like a little tournament like viewers and stuff. So if you want to come through to that, feel free to click on notifications. But if you don't, I totally understand. I've never clicked notifications on for one channel, so I totally get it. <laughs> but if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, follow us. Deuces.